This meeting is being recorded. What's up, everybody? This is the Poker Coaching Study Session. Yay! And here we are with the part two of uh, Real GPB's Hand History. <coughs> Got it. So this should be an open, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Now it's a fold. I think so as well. Oh, yeah, I don't think this is close. I think this is a fold. What do you think? Forced the worst to hand? fold. What do you think? The I worst feel like we already was? saw this hand. I think I said call and it was a fold. Yeah, yeah. I don't remember. This is a fold. Or either that or we had the same hand in a very similar spot. Front of the gun versus a big body jam. So what's the worst call here? Ice cream suited? Ice jack suited, maybe? <laughs> What about pairs? Uh, eight. No, no. Yeah. That's pretty good. Uh, pretty good instincts, both of you. So it's like uh, twenty-five effective. Ace Jack suited plus is technically a call. Ace Queen off is mixing frequencies. Eights is mixing frequencies plus. There's no ICM or anything yet in this tournament. Uh, there should not be. I don't. Believe. Probably not. And two eleven, right? Uh well uh, we we thought we passed the money bubble I think oh we did okay the money bubble starts to there's a there's a ten nine suited hand and a jack nine suited hand so those hands are right on the money bubble we had determined oh yeah so we are already in the money and then right so if the money bubble just burst it's not going to be too much high CM. So, do you guys think it's a, always a fault here? Even though this end looks appealing, it's too much? Chippy V, it's not. It's, it's a Even fault. Uh, Chippy V, it's a fault. Okay. I it's think it, I think it's always a fault. 25 right? at least. Every 20, it's a call, but uh, sometimes at least. But... 20, it is. Uh, it's still fault. Yes, yeah, so 60% or so, something like that. I don't even really like calling off eights in that spot. Does anyone else? I'd rather have like the look like jacks or something. Uh, eights is already yeah. mixing uh, for twenty five. Yeah, I mean it's, yeah. it's just what the charts say. Like uh, I don't really have. I just know what the charts say. So I mean, I would adjust maybe a pip. So maybe because I'm thinking that they're gonna they're gonna jam the middle part of their range, right? Any part of the middle part of it, and we'll we'll we're at least at the top part of the middle with the jacks, right? And maybe tens. Yeah, uh, I, I don't know. Yeah, then at least we beat nines and eights that they can jam and beat. Yeah. What do you guys think about this one? This is a fold. Yeah, uh, with yeah, the 10 bigs, maybe it would be a call. Is too, is, uh, too low. So according to the GTO solutions, what do you think <laughs> the worst call here is? Is a good question. This Does one even have it is open? 10. Does he even have an open jam range at 20? Yeah. 24? I'm sure, yeah. Good to know, I think. At 25, almost 25, really? At 20, not 25. Bad at 20. But. Well, I mean, we're 24. Could... Yeah. I'm sure, I'm sure you're supposed to call eights in this spot for sure. Yeah, you could, you could split hairs. So let's just say verse RFI. Um, we're in the big blind. Verse a button jam. Yeah, there's no jams. There. Yeah. He's got he's got jams, right? At the button? No, he has no jams. At twenty five on the button. But yeah, you're, you you're gonna have you to have a little bit. You're I don't even think he has any at twenty. He has he a twenty. Yeah, at the chart. Sure. I'm looking at the chart. For twenty, yes. But then and well, H5 off is the bottom of your uh, calling range. So at just, GP, uh, at GPV is the bottom of the calling range, so we can like extrapolate an easy fold with a, just a bit of an ICM. Maybe we need like a six, seven. Oh, H9 or something like that, maybe. Yeah. It's 24. Personally, uh, personally in game, I'm going to adjust kind of like how Joe's saying here, and I'm going to maybe look at H10 off, H9 off. And suited version is eight suited then. Yeah, something yeah. like that. Yeah, something so, like that. So would you guys be calling the king queen suited there? 
not a call. Yeah. Oh, oh wait, wait, wait. You're saying there? Oh, yeah. You got to. Yeah, you do need to be calling. I think so. <laughs> King, Queen, time and close, to be honest. Like, versus button range, it's very strong. Yeah, I mean, he, I, I didn't realize. I, I don't have a jamming range, but I see it here. It's like the ace wheel suited yeah, and then the middling ace offs. And then, like, just a couple chunky dish hands. So, I mean, King's behind most of the range, King Hines. Um, I was just going to ask a question. Because we're, like, basically, because the effective stack is 21 bigs, right? Give or take, yeah. So, so, sorry, this isn't the same man, is it? Could we, could we just switch back to the other one? It was 24, uh, Maxi. Oh, 24 effective then, right? We Within the 24 effective stack, we do have shoves. And I'm thinking because we cover them, wouldn't we be shoving 44 bigs here? If you get, does that make sense? Because the effective stack's technically 24, we do have yeah, shoves on yeah. 24 bigs from the button. Yeah, yeah, yeah. this yeah. is, shoving here is fine. But you're like, still uh, you're gonna make more money by open racing to the blinds, uh, right? Sometimes it depends. It uh, depends on your hands, of course, on how you're playing. But... Is that a correct assumption then? That you, you can have some jams there with that stack because obviously the effective stack. Even at thirty big blind, I think we have some gems from the. Uh, R not at twenty-five. But yeah, you might be right. Uh, okay. So no, at twenty-five we. Don't eat 25 at 20. Yeah, it happens 25 on the button. 20 big, we, have have shows, uh, 25. we do have yeah. a ripping range on, on 20. 25 yeah, on 20. 20, definitely. Yeah, twos and threes. Yeah, but it's only five percent there. So on 24 big blinds, yeah, you actually don't have a shoving range, I think. So 24 is probably a bit too, it's a bit too much then. Normally, yes. Yeah, okay. Funny big blind limb. Are we supposed to bet ever here after this kind of action? Yeah, that's interesting to see. I would check and just take a uh, equity. Yeah. Hmm. I'll like in here. Like if you do it, it's big. I don't mind. On the I'll look at, you don't I'll look at 25 percent bet here is great. I think because you don't. It's better than calling. It's a lint pot or is what is it? Lint sheet. Yes, it's lint pot. Yeah, yeah. small down lint. Yeah, but you don't have an ace, sir. So king maybe an eight maybe. Mm-hmm. So it's getting thin. I like the bluff on the eight, but unless we think our oh, Jack with Jack I wins at showdown, which it probably doesn't. Oh, probably. Oh, maybe. Huh. You, you only can have a queen, eh? and a king uh, will call call any bet. So I like a twenty five percent bet here on a paired board. That's a uh, nine eight, uh, Louis. It's not a uh, paired that you're looking at. Ah, well, it would be a nine, right? Nine is big. And uh, nine is a nine better line. And then our jack three. Yeah, so the one that made the back door is always checking. So yeah, most of them, them are checking. Yeah, it's not a lot of checking. So, and, and what are we betting? Our queen eyes that have showdown value that are the best already. <laughs> queen eyes draws, flush draws, isn't it? Queen eyes small. Hearts and spades. <clears throat> the, the worst queen eyes that have the backdoor flush. The flush draw with a high low card. But then again, queen three of clubs here is just doing it anyway. What's with the nines? Nine two, nine three, nine four. That's true. Well, let's check them. Because uh, it's Offset. a nine board, not an eight eight board. 
Yeah, that's trips. Oh, no oh, trips. Yeah, indeed. Because I have a sim with nines instead of eights. So it doesn't like backdoor, betting the backdoor flush then, basically. Uh, if you have a queen, yes. Mm. So fine check back here. The queen is actually the not draw, eh? no. Almost. Check check. Yeah. The tree of the of heart completing the front door flush comes in. Opponent checks. I think with a queen you can uh, call a, a check race eh? with uh, oh, nothing a little bit. No. Nope. Okay. We would we would just value bet with like the the hearts. Uh, it's is it picking spades to bluff the lowest spade. So we have worst hands in our range in terms of like busted flush draws. This, 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 is, this is like middle ish. We are gonna have like seven five that always want to go for it and stuff like that. Bottom of the of the range. Okay, check check. We lose. Okay, what do you guys like to do here? Oh no, you it could yes, you could be turned into a bluff, but the stack to pot ratio is not great, is it? So I think you have to fold really. But I know where you're coming from, Louis, because you've got a, obviously back doors there. And this is probably one of your worst bluff combinations, right? Yeah. Paired boards, well, you want to defend by check raising, right? So yeah. this is a... Yeah, my, my fingers are burning here. Maybe uh, I'm wrong. But... Yeah, for backdoor flush draw, backdoor straight draw. Yeah. Yeah. The problem is it's so short. I feel exactly. like... Exactly. Uh, That's the problem. <laughs> I think we need a seven high because the button does open off suit eights. I would, I would fold preflop, but that's something else. I, I, mean, well I, think it's gonna, I think it's, it's gonna. I think it'll do it, back. but it'll do it more with a seven for sure. I would not be surprised to see like a click back here or a fold. I think in game probably folds is the intelligent decision. You're definitely not calling, and I think it's too much of your chips to uh, start pulling off a bluff here. We have like the upper dangler to the pair card. That's what trickling me with the backdoor straight backdoor flush. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I'm just, it's it's it. going to be a thing. How could well, we eight. miss it? I think seven's better. The problem is indeed, uh, are you deep enough? Uh, it, is it doing it no. at this stack depth with this type of hand? We are going I to don't, see. I don't think so. I think 20 big blinds fine. Absolutely oh. not. I think you'd be calling with a gut shot. Ooh, look at this. But you know, it's mixing 50% fold and 50% it's going to do it. Put a seven on three, three X raising, not all in. No, of course. I'm just checking. not all in. So okay, I'm not too crazy here. I'm happy to see that. Joe, if you wanted, uh, you could raise here, but folding is also fine. I guess I guess the fact there's two fours on the on the board is scary for him too, right? <laughs> if you did do it. Well can we can we see if seven high seven four four is better? Because I think that's kind of a K the eight. I mm -hmm. think penis wrinkle is going to make your life yeah, miserable. Yeah, because now the five is uh, up and down straight uh, also. Yeah, well, and plus he has all the offsuit eights. Uh, Ace eight, king eight, queen eight, <coughs> back eight, cat eight, nine eight. Yeah, but you're on all pair board so that you check raise uh, a lot. Yeah. 30, 35% or something like that. Yeah. It's better on a seven is all. I mean, I'm saying it's not, I see it does it on an eight. I just think it could do it more on a seven is all I'm saying. I don't yeah, think you got on seven because the five is uh, also the five is better than huh? worse. Yeah, are you calling instead? Of, uh, now, it's making money, now it's making money instead of losing money. Well, it's calling more too, right? Yeah. What 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 have we changed there then, Louis? What's, what's seven changed? High. Oh, you changed it to seven, right? Yeah. Now it's calling more. 
Yeah. No, yeah, it's, it's still the same amount of check raising, but uh, less folding. Yeah, this board, this type of board is very, very dangerous. From like, I don't think he, like, he's like checking a lot here because of this texture. What's uh, what's the typical response supposed to be there, Louis, from a penis wrinkle? Uh, facing the check raise. Yeah, what is uh, what is he supposed to do? That would be the place not to supposed to call any ASI. Supposed to float with most of his king eyes. Uh, queen eyes are floating. Jack eyes. Jack A. Oh, with with back door, uh, straight draws, right? No, uh, no. Back, uh, all the draws. Jack A's. All the over cards. Oh, wow. Continuing. Direct over. So when he faces a. I figured like some of uh, the ace highs would just be piling over the top. Well, we're polarized, so they don't get to do that. Do you, you mean like but they do? Stuff but not much. Ace, queen, no. this board, <laughs> and like, do the guy's gonna show you a four. What do you got accomplish here? <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, like if uh, penis wrinkle recognizes that we are. Um, Kind of clicking back some connected cards right there. He should just be balling his equity up with some of those hands because we got to fold, right? Yeah. We have to fold equity shot. That's good, though. Why not? <laughs> mm. I think it's playing with fire ultimately. This is fine. You definitely want to be doing this with this hand, I think. You don't want to min raise and then be put in a top spot, right? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Chug hole 89 is just going to be able to really put us in the box here. Yeah, no, this is a better play here because at least we realize our equity. Right, we put the other one in, the, in an ice champ spot, huh? And more fold equity. The previous yeah, hand, what, what, what did Chuck uh, shaft to how many stacks? Previous. Yeah. Okay. Well, was the ace ten yeah. was ace ten folded there? What happened with the ace ten? Yeah, I don't know. I think it was facing. Oh, okay. That. So is this a shuff also then, if it, not to be in this kind of situation? What do you uh, mean? I think, I think this is a I good think spot. I think it's you're uh... getting kind of out of the steel position. Um, it's probably a little more marginal with 18 big blinds from a hijack. I don't know. It might be a jam, though. I can check. 15, uh, you can jam. I've got this 17 cards a... here from the hijack. And yeah, you're, you're right, Maxi. It is jamming ace 10 off at some frequency. I mean, it's mature. you don't do a ton of jamming from here, but there there is some. Oh, yeah, some cool. I jam pressure, so you can. That's cool. Yeah, and I, I, would, I would put very, 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 very little. Um, consideration to the ICM pressure so far. Just the bubble just burst. It's going to be a while. People are going to be like in yeah. double up or get out mode. <laughs> yeah, also they uh, followed a lot and now they want to play. <laughs> now you're allowed to play uh, again. Where's Michael at? He's sending you all these goodies. <laughs> I, I made this with them a long time ago. Uh, now look at oh, that. I remember. I stumbled upon this the other day. That was uh, interesting. So like, this is the maximum stack depth to open push based on your position and the number of big blinds. So button 20, so the guy pushed 25 was wrong. So that's what the charts say. That's, I mean, yeah. you know, that's- I don't think you can, you can't that's say- not my shame or it's shame. They'll have some pushes at 22, and then you start probably losing them at 23, 24. You probably don't have any, like 24. This is just GTO, GPV. But it's funny to see that you from under the gun, you never open jam at, at like more than 12, but at 12, it's okay. And then uh, yeah. this, we are like 18. So from the cutoff, like it's 15. That's so nice, maximum. Yeah, this is a t this is still quite a tight spot though, don't you think? It. How many yeah, How many of you are calling this off? I'm very probably. Probably. Should be, this should be a call. I think yeah. you have to call it. Oh yeah, 
snapping it off. I think it's a call as well. I think it's a close one. Oh, you did call. I don't think it's close, Barry. You need to call seven big ones. Yeah. Seven yeah, big seven ones, big uh, ones to win 13. A six off. I'd probably British. call a eight offs here. If you if you dare opening it, I, do you think it's a four? Well, well, I, I, think think it's, big lines, I think it's about as much as we get to full a eight. This is like the floor of my offseat calling range, I think. Yeah, I this think a eight is a little... Yeah, it, Ace eight is a little too far down. Oh, I don't think so. <laughs> Seven big ones, guys. The closer you get to the button, the more you call. So I think ace ten is probably going to be you're going to call ace I mean, ace eight off, it's probably close to the bottom of where you're opening from that position from this stack. So you have to fold some. Anyways, what was the, uh, let's see what he showed. What do you think he shows up with? Imagine we're doing all right here. Oh. Yeah, I mean, the charts are going to tell you to get in there. Yeah, right. I see M's just a pepper, oh, no. and a half tighter or something like that, right? Then the chip E, so probably. Did call. Roughly. Or was it three pips? I think it might have been three pips tighter. For it just depends. I mean, it's not a, a general heuristic. You gotta, it really depends on the situation. Oh my goodness. I'm what do you do here, Gavin? <laughs> I'm folding. Fold. Man, Fold. with penis wrinkle putting 30 bigs in, I'm out of there. <laughs> you know what I'm doing here? I'm folding here. I'm probably folding. Yeah. Yeah, that guy's opening oh, with uh, a 10 big blind stack. And not shoving. Yeah. Jesus, you got the nuts. Yeah. I knew it. Well, that'll work. <laughs> Woo. Although I did well. And poor Chuck Hole got baited in. Craig, yeah, indeed, right? Yeah, but he covers him by like a lot, so it a doesn't mile. matter. Yeah. <laughs> yeah like, what's fine. what's ten big lines to him? He has sixty. Covers yeah. him by like two miles. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So that, that was a pretty sick spot because they. So could, that's 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 when there, right? if we have yeah if we have fifteen yeah, yeah, big lines. I'm pulling lines. this off. Yeah, but like you said, the 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 min rays off of his stack, it just smells of a monster. Yeah. So if we're in the big line with fifteen big lines, what do you do here? Where with chug hole spot? Yeah, like in this same spot. We don't have 60, and we only have, like, say, 15 or 14 bigs. You're, like, shitting your pants, right? I'm flicking a big blind in and overfolding on those flops. Uh, yeah. I would not continue with 3-4 suited for against a, such a short stack. I don't think that would be wise, even from well, the... So, Chuck Hole, he, he put him in. He just put him in. He said he's got, got a flush draw, so he... Yeah, on the, like flop, on the flop, he played played it uh, about as bad as he could. Yeah. Also, now, also yeah. Louis, the fact that he's got 3-4 suited and he's in a blind, he's facing a min raise, you're going to see the flop with a lot of hands, right? But with this, with, with the effective stack, this hand is no good at all, is it? You may as well hold it pre-flop, right? Yeah, I think, uh, yeah. I think it's really close, especially I for sure. Oh... Okay, do you wait. think it's a fold, most people, or do you think it's still a call? I'm calling all suited pairs there, with the exception of maybe seven deuce. Is this a spot where we are going to dance? Yeah, mm -hmm. you should. Yeah. yeah. Five big Just line. put the money in. What do we know about five big line open shoving? From... <laughs> I've got a chart for it, uh, if you want it. Sure. We're going to be pretty wide. The tool section, we can look it up. Under the gun one, five big blinds. Under the gun one, five big blind a chart. Fold. Yes. This is a fold. It's not a fold. It's not a fold. The not a fold, no it, way. It could be your, it could be like ICM. Hey, I'm gonna or read no, the chart real quick. So the floor be, it goes of suited in. nines is jamming, plus king eight suited, king seven suited, all of your pairs, and down to uh your offsuit ten X. 
And I see him. No, this is Chippy V. And uh, again, the, the the money bubble burst recently, so ICM is should be negligible here. Right, right, right. If it's you wanted to adjust, you could adjust a pip. The range looks almost identical to this, Louis, just like one pip wider on the uh, offsuit branch. Yeah, okay. I'm not, uh, and I actually thought they were showing a lot uh, looser. I'm showing a lot looser UTG with five picks. I think I should tighten up my, yeah, sure. my yeah. cross section. Maybe so. This hand just flops. This pen, the hand does pretty well. Like, even if he's got yeah. ace king, you're doing fine. Yeah. You got to gamble a little bit, anyways. Doesn't feel good, but. Yeah, the That's why I was shot 10 out. jack suited yesterday. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, that flop. Jack yeah, this is. That's massive. Yeah. So, that may have been That's wide. It. He jammed 10 from under the gun one. Yeah, that is that's loose because, like you said, there is some ICM. Yeah, uh, even like in standard chip EV, that's well, a pip wide, so you can see that. Wide, yeah, it's right that's here. two pip wide. Yeah, he oh, just wide. he said his game's over. He wants to go to sleep, and uh, <laughs> I'm out. Oh no! I like I like just jamming this hand. I would jam. Yeah. I think I'd have land. Banana. I'm jamming. I'm Coffee. jamming. I'm jamming. Have an ace, I jam. Yeah. It's 20 bigs from you can the slide line. You can, limp, you can limp jam this. We're jamming on the offset aces. Oh, We're limping. Yeah, yeah, uh, if you go uh, I would limp jam. This one's right on the edge. This one is right on this the edge. This is a 10 big blind strategy. This is a 10 big blind for me. Charts are being slow. Oh, okay. Makes sense. I think you love jamming. I'm not a fan of jamming uh, A6 suited here. No? You do you jam the offsuit ones? Yeah. I still like yeah. this one also. Yeah. Offsuits. Yeah, offsuits. Yeah. But it does say raise and go uh, for jam offsuits. And uh, if you jam suited ones, then that's just slightly uh, worse. You could, you, you probably should raise and go for broke with this one as well, right? Well, yeah, I, I mean, don't think we're ever folding. The big blind's going to have a very polarized bluffing range when we limp. So I think when you limp jam, you get just a ton of folds and you still have good equity, decent equity when you get called at least. I don't, I don't think, think it's a limp jam hand. I don't think this hand is a I don't bluff enough. That's the reason I uh, jam myself directly. I don't think this hand limps jams. I think the only ones that do that is ace two and ace ten suited. So ace queen suited are the only ones that limp jam. I don't know. I'll look. Yeah. I'm trying to check. Right now. the race of the more blind. That's what more chart says. Um, versus race. I think your mid pair limps jams and then your ace king, ace queen. I don't know. Jams. Don't know. We don't have it. We don't have yeah, a, yeah. a mid pairs. Yeah, yeah. pairs and then the the lowest of the A6. A6 A2 suited, A3 suited, then A9. I think A6 is fine. Yeah. I think it's just is fine. I mean, it's plus EV for sure. Like, it's yeah. definitely plus EV if he's raising plus, right? It's all close. <laughs> yeah, it's close, this one. Jamming is like, hold on. Jamming is 0.99. Non all in is 1.12 and flatting is 1.1. 1 .1. Do you guys all compare? I fold. You should be calling it. You um, should be calling it ace high. It's good most it's of the time. Ace. I mean, if I had an ace eight, I guess I would call, but I mean, the six is kind of like a dog now. There's a jack on the board and a seven on the board. So, like, yeah. We got no club. We got no straight draws. Just Dude, but his range is super wide here. Yeah, like well, he could have we're out, of position, off. we're out of position, and we're just gonna keep piling chips to yeah. the river or ICM. Yeah. I'm, I'm calling like it's just one big. I'm calling the hand. Unless you balls, unless you something. hit an ace though, you're not calling the turn. That's the problem, isn't it? I'm no, it depends on the sizing. If you bet small again, yeah. I'm still calling. You gotta continue here with ace highs sometimes, even yeah. on the turn. Like it's blind versus blind. What ranges are you're just gonna get eaten alive if you're not defending yeah, them. It's the pile is never gonna fold. Like 
I don't, oh, get, eat too right much. I don't get eaten in alive and in blind to my games anyway. I think I'm Ken's right. The six isn't good. Plus EV from the small blind. <laughs> Over 100,000 hands. So, like, you can be a little nitty with if his hand has no. It sucks. It's ace high. Yeah, it does suck. Yeah, but this is this is a different game. This is a two fifteen on ace. You know what? Well, I play not... different stakes too. My HUD includes those games. I played, high, high, you know, I played hands at higher stakes, one hundred nines. Played twenty six fifty. I played fifty fives. I played thirty. I, I get, I get, I get what you're saying, Ken. Like in your re- reality, it works for you, and you, your living experience. You've done these things, and it works for you. But you know, we're not all Ken. We're trying to build a baseline that. We can translate to everybody. What's the EV so, going on the flop? The only tools we have oh, are please. these technical tools. What's so the EV going to... on the flop? Was 80, it was what? 80 big blind. 80, 80, blind chips, 80 chips and two 400. That's pretty good, right? Yeah. Not even close. So now it's more fall. of a break even call, but it's calling. I guess the bigger bet. And I mean, it's fine to like adjust to some of these spots. I agree. You do need to tighten up compared to what the computer says. So. Yeah, but the, on the turn, for an 800 pot, 800 chips, the call returns 16. And as we see, if you see at the bottom right of the A6, we can see the equity. So it's red. It's not looking good here. Uh, you have a good shot. That is a bit different here. Wait, did I just hear that correctly? The EV there was positive 2%. No, 16 into 800. I don't know. Yeah, that's like 2%. Percent. That's less than 2%, I think. I don't know. So well, what about, about call on the turn? That's for sure. And it looks in theaters, it's never <laughs> falling already. Is this, is this an actual open now, this King Jack off? Because, um, of, the stack, because of the stack depths. Are you a Ned Barry? Wow. <laughs> in, the, in this in this spot, I probably would fold this out here. Oh, no, How that's close are we to the final either. table? I mean, I fold King Ten off. I don't fold King Jack off. You're, you're not close. Then I open this. You There's still open. 350 hands to go, so we're not close yet. Then I open this because there's a lot of shopping stack sizes. That's what I'm looking at. Yeah, but it's. I think you. Yeah, I think you're correct though. Uh, there's a lot oh. of sho- shoving stack, but I. The, the, a lot I of shoving stacks uh, will be all the time all over the table. in my game, so I don't mind the uh, shoving stacks. They're not shoving with the uh, loose range, so. If I can call up the shortest stack, I'm going to open. I see a lot of faults in my uh, game, so. Something that's uh, important to note is that when there are more shoving stacks on your table, you pick up blinds more easily. From the earliest position, yes, Vince? That's what you meant? Yes. <laughs> what did he do? <laughs> <Pick your call. laughs> he <folds. laughs> Rising wall. What? You know, you know what? Uh, good fault. <laughs> Joe actually told me about that hand. He said it was a misclick. He did not mean to click it back. And ah. he thought it was hilarious that guy folded. I believe it. Uh-oh. Mm. Just call. There's a yeah, yeah, just just go back to straight and back and flush jaw. This is a raise. So oh, no, 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 out of position. You're out of position. Yeah. Yeah. Big big line line versus line, EP. Line versus yeah, big... under the gun. If you had you can defend. If you have an over, backdoor flush, backdoor straight. It's not a backdoor right. flush. It is a flush draw. Yeah, front, that's the minimum, what I said. No. <laughs> yeah, that's you the minimum. Over, to, you need uh, at least an over, out, uh, backdoor you know. flush, backdoor straight. Or to make it big effective, they're mostly calling car flushes. Flush draws. I, would I think. believe if we check raise now, we have to be all in on the turn. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, we're not, if we're check raising this, we're never folding, right? Like, not. Way too much equity. Way yeah. too much. Oh, but if we check raise and he flat, like he just calls, we have to be all in on the turn. I think we just stuff it and we're raising. This is, so is that an, or, is this is that an argument to check jam? Then this no. Yeah. Um, Louis looking it up and it doesn't 
check jam. Check jams with some combos, but not this one. Yeah, I think check check raising is. So fine. you can do. Oh, and, and, no, it's interesting. Like the fact that it check jams with king seven, but check raises small with queen seven tells me that if you reverse those, it wouldn't be a disaster. Yeah, it has some queen sevens raising all in here too, right? Sivers. Yeah, yeah mostly, mostly raising. Now, and the, the EVs are equal. Well, the important thing, thing, thing is that you're balanced. You can't only check jam with like one over and a flush drop. You know, that's the thing. I like how we structure our, our, our check raise here. We don't really do it with the worst part of, the, of our range. Like the lower ones don't do it. They just check tall. But all yeah. the ones that have over cards are doing it. Two over so cards if it, it, like... So if we check raise and he shoves back. over us, are we calling down? Yeah, of course. Of course. Are you kidding? I've had that note we're, on my mind. We're expecting him to show up with a, like ace ten, and we're we're like we're flipping. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Because, most of our draws are cold. Flipping it back, man. Because there's two key cards on for us on the flop. Like he has to expect to be check raised pretty often. Oh yeah. Right? The five and the four are, are the gold cards for us, especially against under the gun. What about our monster flush draws there, Louis? So, say we've got um like Ace King suited. We're just calling, right? Yeah, I think so. We have Ace King suited. Yeah, right. We ain't gonna have it. We got like Ace Jack suited, maybe or Ace Ten suited. We're know. just we're just calling those though, right? We're not raising. Unless it's got like one. Unless it's got the direct dagger over the high card, it might raise. So it was the flop Ten high. If we had like Ace Jack suited, it might raise. Uh, mo most of the time it's uh, Ace and uh, low card huh? that you do that. Oh, uh, also, I think someone earlier mentioned that uh, if he has ace-10, it's a flip. I think it's a 60-40. No, it's closer than that. So when we check raise there... Oh, we're ahead with... You mean 60-40, we're ahead, right? No, no. we're a hair behind. But yeah, it's not 40. Behind. It's more like it's more like well, 44. Oh, yeah, we got... No, we got to have think, like... I think if he, back, like... Top, if yeah. he shows up with ace 10 exactly, I think it is actually like a 60 40. No, nah. no way. No, I we're closer to like... 45. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. If uh, so, we check raise there and we call it off then, I guess. If he jams, yep, yeah, yeah, of course. He can even he can show up with a worse flush draw for a bluff, of course. Like he, he, sh like, I don't know if people play this way, but he should have some like. Okay, uh, Jack nice nine suit. suited bluff. Does he get a three bet bluff that in? Mm. Makes sense. a little optimistic with uh, he's gonna have worse flush draw. Yeah, yeah. not the man of the gun. <laughs> not a lot. <laughs> no, probably not. He should open Jack nine. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah, that's, that's the only one. one. <laughs> he has that's the only one. His worst flush draws are gonna contain a 10. He could have nine eight suited. Jack eight suited, but not much. Yeah, I mean that's yeah, not much. Those yeah, are the Jack two. Jack shouldn't open Jack eight. So. Yeah, he can have, he can have anything, he, but he can also not have them. All right, so this one would be a bit more of a raise, but also like Ace King calls us and we're we're flipping, right? So ship it. So say we just call. So turn comes at three. Um, Make it a three of clubs. Wow, that's interesting. Even when we check call on the turn, look at this. There's a sliver here. We're not going to have this hand on the river. Make it a three of clubs. Why? Because oh, you're you're I putting see. a double flush draw. I see. Oh, that changed everything. Yeah. We don't need protection as much. <clears throat> that's right. So we... He, Check, check, and then eight. A spade wow. here on the river. Boom. And then we should open stuff it here. Yeah, we're gonna, we got a decent amount of bluffs here. PR is one. Rip it, Joe. And Joe finds the rip. The child of the sim. And do we, how did he play the flop? I didn't see. Did he call or race? He called and it. Then check, call. A check, check on the darn. Open a rip on the river. I think I'm more in line with this play as well. I start to raise the flop. Right. It was a very, very clear raise on the flop. We're just oh, like we're way, so look, short. Render, we're I looked up again. the board is ten eye. Think about if he ever folds anything at all against your raise. You're like King the happiest person. 
you know? Yeah, you know, and I definitely feel that. Do you here with your queen? Queen Jack. Love your queen crit. Jack is a really nice hold to get. Yeah. So if, if we raise on that but flop, we, we still have really we, nice bluffing streets. Like if this, let's say this eight is not a diamond. No, this is yeah. like look at this texture okay with here with like six seven uh, diamonds you want to call and I don't think that whatever you have a card here you want to raise because that's the strategy i think that's the most and if we check call right and then check and he bets turn we have no we have very little fold equity at that point yeah. so i my the, my perceptions the most important thing here is how we structure at this step against early position can you uh run into the river and then uh, make the eight oh. not a diamond what apparently i got my money change on me i just want to say by the way i ran the flop and that t pot 6.7 which is 10. put like an eight of hearts i would still bluff yeah exactly small. like i'm I'm still bluffing the later streets. I still I'm still able to bluff. So it's like I don't need to go off on the flop here. Well, we can only bluff if we check turn. If we check turn, you have uh, if we check turn and he bets, I don't think we have fold equity. But Vince, the best TV for your hand is to raise it. Although it's really yeah, look at the EV. Like it. Yeah, it's, it's super hard. close, right? Yeah. All EVs are close mostly. Yeah. Most there's, of a, the there's a silver of call, so it's probably fine for you to call here. So if we raise on the turn when we get the key card, the three, we're we're probably gonna stuff. The three right? is not a key card. Is the big it? Line? I mean, it's kind of good. I oh. don't know we have, it is there actually. We have seven. We have seven six off. That seems like a big deal. So Some the card. key cards for the for the big line here for this box is gonna be a seven. That's on the flop. You don't but have that's seven. for making pairs. We have. So the eight is pretty good here. Horse is under the gun. Yeah, yeah the eight's not bad. Yeah. yeah. But the three is good on the turn when we have other the two other low key, 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 key cards because the three starts completing draws. Mm. Do we have seven, six off? Eh? That's then the question. So here we're going to have only three key cards. And let's see in positions. Ooh, in positions. Yeah, seven, six off. Sure. world. Overview, everything is good for in position, but not the, the eight and the seven. So it's really clear here, the key card patterns. The eight and the seven is for big the big blind and even the six a little bit. And then like the nine is probably neutral. Anything above a 10 is a key card for the under the gun. So that's gonna be very clean. Like even on pair boards, very clear, key card, key card. And then these are betting more than 80% of the time. And straight boards. So you can go in a heat map and look at the turn to see what key cards come up on the turn. Like that's the flop. So I do think a three does improve our range. What? I think we need an eight or a seven. Look at this. Uh, analysis, EV, strategy. Oh, it's not very clear here on the eight or the seven. Yeah, on the flop they are, but yeah. things change on the turn. This is for the turn. Yeah, look at the look at the three. The three and the four are the best cards. Yeah, actually. so like seven and eight are good on the flop, but at, once we have a flop texture, the key card is going to change on turns and rivers. Yeah, awesome. Huh. Three, four. Is yeah, like a three completes our top end, but it also completes our gut shot ace deuce. Yeah, but that's the villain has that also. Huh? Maybe ace deuce suited at least. <laughs> All right. Last spot. Nice look at. Uh... Oh boy. I fold. <clears throat> I I a rape. I have fold? Yeah. Oh yeah, you can. No. I think it's probably bottom range good. versus hijacks. 
we got 30 bigs, man. Like, I don't want to just flip here for half my stack, honestly. I'm folding. But, but what is almost seven bigs? Yeah, fold equity or not? I mean, the button oh, is oh, an oh, overlay oh. for us. Like, he can have garbage. Yeah. There is also a hijack open. I didn't notice that. Yeah, I mean, I, I just hate to lose uh, 15, more than half my stack here with six. It was like, yeah, I don't like it. I'd rather, yeah, I'd rather. Yeah, full tech, that's a really nice. How about for a set mine, just call that? I mean, the guy should have an open fold range for sure. I don't know how wide it is, but he has folds, I would think. You know, I don't really like really set mine here. Mine. I think that raising to like, Eight and then falling to Chung Hole and calling uh, C Mace off is the oh. best option. I don't, I don't mind the call there. We've got the right uh, match to call. Yeah, what's wrong with Sub Mine? Cap. No, you can't we, call. We've got the right option. Why can't you call? call? Right I would treat this. Calling pretty bad. Calling seems really bad. Calling seems bad. Yeah, I don't like calling. Um, Why? Why? Well, you're not getting this Drex odds to set mine. I think if you can raise and get, like, I like what um, Vince said. You can raise and Mace, if we hit his folding range, then. I actually the disagree. Up. I think you have better odds here. Yeah, we've mine. got to call 1.5. When you flat here, Chung Hole, like, basically has to come along. Yeah. With any, like, suited hand. And also... You can't count on him coming along in your and your implied odds because he hasn't done it. Yeah, he can also race. I mean, that's uh, yeah. we got to call one point five to win potentially <laughs> another. <laughs> you might say, all right, I got a monster stack. Ace yeah, check. run the run the Let's HRC. See what HRC says. Let's see what the math behind it says. All right, well, HRC cool. tell you though if it, you should raise or call. It'll just tell you the EVs. It'll tell yeah. you this is profitable. It'll tell you this is more profitable. It'll tell you this is really bad. All right. You can run for a chippy beam, maybe. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I have a feeling that uh, raising and then calling off and flatting are going to be very close. Change it to four that's, players. That's close. That's I get the big that's line good. in. That's, that's useful. You know, the best part about it is HRC doesn't have feelings either. It just puts the numbers in and gives you an output. So yeah. it'll let us know. Yep. Uh, uh, three bit to seven, right? Three bit to seven or something. Or all in. No, no, no. Uh, uh, Joe actually did three bet in the game. Yeah, he did three bet it. Yeah, he made yeah, it. I would say all options. Uh, it's not the four bet, uh, Louis. I think. Yes, it, it is, is a four uh, bet, technically. Yeah, it is. Uh, is that true? That's not a race. Oh, uh, yeah, it's not a full race. I don't know what it is. Uh, I don't know if it's a. I guess it is a three. Bet. I don't know. That's not a good point. It's not a legal raise, so it's a three bet. Call it a three bet, I guess. I think it's a three bet. So a I think we can uh, we can use a, a little bit of liberal judgment here and just say three big blinds instead of two point one two, so it opens the action again, just to leave the option open. I know we are, uh, you know. I know it's not the exact situation, but I, I don't think it's going to make that big of a difference, and it'll make the simulation clearer. And now you don't look look at the solution. Uh, do you have uh, the seven big blind also in? No, you don't. So you have to have uh, the three bet. Uh, you have to set that. It's under the call, I think. Probably, yeah, maybe. Yeah, you gotta just set it up so week three bet, not four bet. Yeah, so three bet to two point one two, and then uh, we four bet seven. It's in there. Yeah, yeah it's, in there. it's four betting. <laughs> okay. Okay, so we have three options here. We have call. We have four. Bet. Yeah, so calling is profitable, and Jan. Uh, what is it? Plus and, what? Point one. One point. My question when I first saw this is: Is this an all in or? Uh, uh, like a nice Hoover over the sixes, salary, then you can see the EVs of all, everything. What's that? What's the point one? Uh, one point two and one point six. So uh, yeah, raising to seven is the most profitable answer. Okay. No, wait. It didn't just say the reverse. Full run, huh? No, ripping. Oh, just a bit better, barely. Yeah, barely. it's zero point it? four. Very close. Very close. But there's, but there's only, only a small run, so it's not that precise. 
So both options are fine. You can erase small or go on it. And it's fine. And then you can see. I will point out there, like they say, um, you know, it is like a 0.5 big blind mistake or a 0.3 big blind mistake to call. Uh, we really don't want big blind just like calling with like king 10 off there. Like get out of the pot. I want them out of the pot in this. <laughs> oh, actually, yeah, exactly, right? Calling here is a big, big EV difference. Exactly, yeah. And it's because there's so many, many like crappy overhard can hands that will call if we if we call, right? And we want them gone. Yeah, we will need to ISO a little bit there. Yeah, but eight, seven, eight, seven suited, like GTFO. So like if it's a PKO, how are you playing it? Ripperoni, yeah. 100%. Oh, right. easy rip. I want I want to protect those. Uh, I want to get those two bounties and get big blind out or make big blind call with shitty cards if they want to have a chance at them. Right. So you could probably just implement a less exaggerated version of that, and it would probably like at least steer your decision making in the right direction. So like, when the chips are the only thing at stake and you flat, as the HRC simulation shows it's really opening you up to some bad scenarios and you're sharing your equity share of the pot with other people. So flatting's bad. So it's gotta be some form of raising, I would think. Yeah, but that's what HRC also said, huh? raising. I think so. I think what about I mean, this one? The intuitive thought process. I like flatting here. I don't think you want to be raising like tens through sevens, really. Jacks yeah, through. you want to flat here. I think it's good. It's not strong enough to uh, raise B. Okay, this is a night. This I hate this situation because he it's gave me the perfect nightmare. price to continue, and you have a good hand to continue with. Yeah, so, at this point, I'm this just one. like, oh, they trapped me. I guess I'm going to see a flop. <laughs> Yeah, I'm okay with it. I like, I like twenty percent pot odds. Yeah, that's that's the problem, right, Tim? Like you have the dead money, so you have great pot odds. You gotta you gotta see a flop. Check that fold. Oh yeah. Oh. Oh, he checked. Oh boy. Uh, oh boy. Right that means like maybe kings. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> right. That's yeah, right. <laughs> three kings. So at the point. On the turn, I'm more concerned about um, <clears throat> what is he clicking back with that he also is checking the flop. Like, I think that uh, every single king needs to bet here unless he exactly has, like, king-king. Uh, we still have good equity against king-king. I think I'm probably going to bet the turn. He's king and diamonds, but yeah. Oh what are you doing? Okay, so Vince, what are you doing if he jams on you then? Folding. So why would you bet? Opening that up. It's uh, because <clears throat> we can we can get hands like uh, pocket Wings. lines to fold. Hmm. So what's yeah? So what, betting, then. what size Vince would you go? If he three bets Probably you like with pocket five. nines and he checks back on the flop, do you think he's really folding pocket nine? No, what was that? Folding like, pocket nines. Forget what'd you say, it. Vince? Uh, probably going to go like half pot. Okay, I agree. I don't yeah, think he's checking pocket nines on that board anyway. He should be minutes. betting. He should be right. betting his entire range on that board. King oh, sorry. Six, uh, no, no, no. I'd be. I would be betting small. Like not not fifty percent. I'd be like. 30%, because then I want to uh, bluff the river. Like you say, he should be betting almost his whole range on that board. Yeah, he should be betting. We can, we can also get, like, ace-jack to fold. Ace oh, yeah, I don't know. I feel like that's pretty ambitious. Like, first off, some of these combos even are nice ridiculous. to fold, though. I think if we so bet... We, there, so we're, like, probe, we're trying to probe get the turn and then and bet the river, right? Fold. That's it. Yeah, but you're only doing that if uh, Ace King actually and uh, sets. So if we probe the turn by the river, ball. like I think some some uh, pocket pairs also have to fold. I don't think he's I ever checked with like, pass. I think yeah. no. I don't think I he's do ever like... checked with a hand here that he's not willing to call. That's more. That's my um. 
Okay, so yeah, that, that, that's uh, what, is he, uh, what is he checking back here? We got kings, queens, jacks. Oh, I reckon he's checking back a monster yeah. most of the yeah. time. Nines is checking back. Some well, of his worst I, I'm betting nines. I'm not checking back nines. Joe's. So the first, cards are, you the gotta solve, give him a little bit of protection. The, solver is, right? the, the solver. first question we have here is against a small bet. Do we continue with a hand like a stand? I heard Chris say snap fold. I would on the flop, we can probably on the fold. fold. On the flop, I'm oh, folding. Against the small so. bet, you guys are folding. I'm oh, no, so. not, with, with, not with this hand. Falling, if you bet the small, you need to continue. You start folding. You need to continue with your best ace high with the backdoor flush drop. This hand probably needs to continue. I would fold. Watch on that. I don't know. I think you're probably right because of the stack to pot ratio. I think you just got to get out of it here. It's a three bet pot. We're out of position. Yeah, it is a three bet pot. You don't have many much more hands to continue. Like non pair <laughs> hands, this is one of the best of them. You're but saying it's a pull, though. Decide on the sizing of the small bet. Luke's like if he bets 30%, pull. if he bets 30%, like ace jack, ace queen, ace 10 suited with a backdoor, all needs to continue. I mean, it just depends how far uh, ICM we have. You saw it, Chris? Ops our risk premium. What's that? You didn't see it, right? Oh, no, I didn't. I was looking at email, sorry. Continue. We're supposed to continue. Yeah, it's sensor just calling. Yeah, if he bets small, it's okay. But um, I, I, why I, it's I, I expected he was going to bet small. Falling I expected the, uh, he was going to see bet. Well, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know that he's calling. Yeah, bet, bet. he should be C betting everything here. So I already yeah, that, he's on a monster. That was all surprised he did, but yeah, he's not C betting everything. It just see it seems like a trap there. It really does. Yeah. And you know, I can get away from traps. I don't have to defend. I don't I'm like Helmuth, not Duan. I don't have to win every hand. It's okay to not win a hand once in a while if you think you're getting set up. So oh, Louis, set what up. happens when we bet small? Uh, this smells like a setup, but he checks twice, so now oh, yeah. maybe not. He's got queens or jacks or some shit a bunch of the time, right? But he would bet the flop, right? Surely. Why? Not with queens. Not no. Well, maybe, maybe uh, actually, hot pile might, pile might, but real people won. I well, in a three bet pot, you're supposed to see bet in continuation most of the time. Yeah, probably with the exception of pocket queens, right? Wait, are we calling down on the river? No, yeah, I agree. Queens is down? like queens is like what's oh. the hand to check, right? Yeah, our yeah. queens was checking actually. Oh, wait, how come ace 10 is not in our range? Queens would probably split there, yeah, because it's a, it's a... ace 10. What does it happen? Yeah, like how's that even possible? It's so a word. I ran that six six hand for an ICM, not chip EV, and it's a fold. It's a losing money. It's here, and then we... that's our action. Yeah, how how do we not have ace ten here? That's impossible. We have ace ten. So it's fold. It's mixing, mostly folding. The call returns one chip, 1.25 chips out of 300. Uh, Louis, <laughs> Louis, we have a flatting range, right? Because it was multi-way. Oh, 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 well, we, did, we weren't the opener. What's the EV of donking small on the turn? Under a gun is opening or middle position. So we have a flatting range, not an opening range. What happened on the showdown anyway? What happened? What are you trying to say, Al? Well, uh, your range is not the opening range of uh, out of position like you used in Pio. What? You're f first, you're flatting, right? Yeah, first you're flatting. First action is flatting. This is the flatting range. Oh, okay. Because ace 10 is not in. And cutoff versus button or hijack versus cutoff? This is cutoff versus button. Do you think there's any difference between the positions you're actually in? What? Well, you're on, you're not you're not on the cutoff and the button, right? Yeah. Uh, this is like hijack versus cutoff. You think there's a big difference? There's a very big difference. 
because you fled at first. This is high jack versus low jack that we're flat. Oh, this, is, this is a three-way pot, so th there's different from a heads-up pot where there's a three-way. Uh -huh. Yeah, I'm just uh, basically that's... this should be the defense range for the, against the three back. But do we have? Yeah, but, but this, we don't have 100% of our aces here, right? No, probably not because it's <laughs> not here. Yeah, this might not be the best thing. You should like bet that flop 100% against a double flat. <laughs> it's just but, triple but it off. General idea when we see this flop in this kind of scenario, not when we flat, but when we open and we face a three bet, uh, we need to call with like uh, a side backdoor flush, backdoor straight. What are we so, supposed to do? So when he bets small on the flop, <coughs> then four don't, diamonds don't comes. We have the like, correct sim, so we don't know. What do we can, think about what do we think about betting out on the turn? Can look at betting the turn. Uh, not I just assume I just assume he's a bad player because he's not free betting big enough. So I just play for value, play passive. But can I see the EV of uh, probing the turn? There? You can't finish because the, the situation is so different. Okay, so this here is easy call. An easy spot. We win. No. Yeah, we do. Never mind. We win by a lot. We got small here. Yep. Just small. Did, did, did we see what he had on that ace ten hand? No. Oh, the guy. The guy bet the river and we folded. We oh, okay. Ace ten. It's a all in free flop. What do you want to see? The other ace ten. No, yeah, all ten, ten, ten of diamonds, Louis. We know he had pocket kings, Ken, didn't he? Well, the other other ace ten. The other ace ten of diamonds, <laughs> the one that we flatted. Yeah, he yeah, folds the river. That three times now. Yeah, it's fine. Follow the, the river. We don't see their cards. Yeah, he yeah. slow played his trip kings. No. I think it looked... he's got to bet his trip kings on the turn when the flush draw comes. He's got to. No, he doesn't have to. Okay. I think you have to. I mean, he's, he's also clicking time. back pre flop versus yeah. three players, so who knows? Yeah, he knows what he has. Yeah, okay. And even the small. He should bet the turn. I'll, I'll leave it at that. I have yeah. like a of clubs or something. I oh, agree. You should bet the turn. You're right there. Yeah, and you should bet the flop. We, we, up now. Because we check twice, the and you should have fit. Aye, yeah. this is ugly. Yeah, this is a weird. Like, I think I would fold. <laughs> I think it's a call. I think it's a. G I think it's a GTO call, which is disgusting. No, nah, we don't I'm even. Not have sure a it is. Yeah, I'm not fold. sure it is a GTO. Call. Maybe it's, it's a call against small on red. This is a fold. This is one of your worst Yeah, it's a fault. It's a fault. Yeah. Good fault, big bad. We got queen oh, high. Come to, on. We need the uh, thirty percent. Yeah. You think about it. Like, say you're facing a bet, a big bet. What what falls first? The first is the back door. So we don't have. We have one over card. We have back door flush, and we don't have any immediate draws. So this is just a fold. Any ace hand is better than this one. We have an immediate yeah. draw to a queen. I still think we should fall. Uh, I kind of disagree. Yeah, I mean, so, key, so, like, we don't have the odds against a 10, but we, like, basically have the odds against a 7 or a 5. And he shows up here with uh, with an air sometimes. I mean, True. like, he shows up with, with hands we dominate, including, like, he can show up here with jack 9, 8, 9. We still uh, need to have 30%. We haven't got 30%. Seven, we have 30%. Honestly, we guys, have have this is the dirtiest stop and go we've seen in a long time <laughs> i love guy, it i love it this guy somebody yeah, wrong. any any balls it would rip pre-flop he has no calling ranger but when he calls her and now he's like okay i see that flop and then goes all in you can be a hundred percent sure it's a five a seven or a ten probably yeah. like ten eight offsuit or ten boots uh, this is <coughs> like something here can um does someone want to run with this like tiny little ridiculous five big blind stem? I'm really curious. 
Five big well, yeah, but I think we do not have the required equity, equity to call here. here. I don't. I don't think we need to run this one. I think this is just an immediate. You can, spot. You you can just use Ecolab. Yeah, Dude, just like, use just did it. Like, we Back do in not my have the day, it's like I'm clicking call here. I'm calling. <laughs> so <laughs> our our exact hand versus seven six has twenty eight point eight. Yeah, 8. yeah oh, man, no. that's the worst case scenario. We need twenty nine point three. <laughs> We're losing. Fuck this guy. He has Jack High. He has Jack High, man. We're so losing. We, we do not have the required odds here. <laughs> well, no. is there is there any possibility that he's just ripping a straight draw here? No. That's what I there said. Is. That's, there that's is. what I said. Right? Like, there's lots of straight draws available. Yeah, yeah and we're blocking a lot of them. Eh, On the top and not the bottom. Can he have six three? Can he have six eight? Can he have you like know, six seven? Eight, Look, I, nine, wouldn't, I wouldn't six eight. I wouldn't yeah. insist on folding here, but I mean we have the chips. If we want to gamble, calling is fine. I don't really He's three bet I'm not make, on that stack. I would hold not, a, not a spot that's gonna break or make our tournament here, I don't think. I am gonna look at uh, some hands off myself. Guys, see you. See you, Josh. Later. See you, Josh. See you. Bye, Josh. All right, let's see what Tim did. Let's see how Tim does. I've been known to gamble, okay? Of course. So that's going to be right. one laser, Tim. Like, I think well, Jack 10 nice. probably doesn't want to just rip it here. That's what I'm saying. Of course not, but people are doing that. I mean, yeah. people are bad. But in any case, we don't have the required uh, odds to call here. Like, if we think you can rip ten deuce, we're still we're already crushed. But you, if no, you, but you don't, in order to you know your it? odds, you have to have a range for him. You have to build a range for him. Like, yeah. put him on a range and then and then top. You know. I just ran the range where he has one pair, and we oh, do not have well, the required equity. Why? Well, yeah, then, I build him. I build him a larger range. And then when he has uh, when he has one pair, and then also every single possible straight draw he we still don't have the required equity it's like break even then it's like barely yeah yeah okay. all right well that's, that's interesting to know so assuming that we have uh, absolutely no edge uh we're still losing by like one percent ah interesting and This is like the one we had earlier, isn't it? With the Queen Seven. We got an overcard again. Backdoor straight draw. Back no real oh backdoor straight draw, yeah. And real flusher. So Too what did it say to ball? Yeah. Is it... Similar setup. This is check almost raise. the exact same setup. Yeah, check yep. raise job. Against the same player right. too, right? Yes. Except with the same stack was, size, even last time it was under the gun versus the big blind. This time it's blind versus blind, right? Oh, that's right. So it's oh, gonna be it? very oh, different. Okay. Yeah. Blind versus blind. I like to actually I do like the check race here. Sometimes I bet one do blind as well. So we're doing 10, 6, 3, so our hand is king 4 here. Uh, ace, ace and no, king. We, can you use king 7 here. Can you use 10, 4, 3 maybe? No, there's a lot of gutchas. Oh, because we can get it, it. It's. Oh, boy. Oh, yeah, you're right. Because we're bigger than the 5. Okay. See if he can go jack 5, 4. 10, 6, 3. Yeah, this one's better. 10, 4, 3 and give us the 10, 5. 10, 4, 3, that works. King 5, yeah. Yeah. I want to see what the king of hearts does. I'm curious. On the flat, makes sense. Joe goes for the check. We face okay. a bet. Okay, now do Over we that raise case. or call? Ah, mostly call. Okay. Okay. I might be playing this spot a little too aggressive then. Hang on. No, king, king six suited right. I've mostly a call. Right. Why is this different to the queen seven then? That's a big blind. 
This is the small blind versus the big blind. They're like under the gun versus big blind and blind versus yeah. blind is very different. Well, because range, range right. closer. Oh, that's what we're saying, right? Ranges are closer. And, right? So that's the, the, uh, the, right? so the, the bad reaction even, was that we limped and he ISO'd, right? Even the bad flush draws don't raise, huh? Well, this one's not that bad, though, is it? Second nut plus draw. No, no. but no, no, normally Pio says the oh, right. ace and king flush draws, you play normal, but you raise the shit ones, but it's not raising the bad ones either. Yeah. So we're calling we're calling because the ranges are closer, I guess, right? Is that why we're calling more in this situation? What do you think? We're slow playing all the tens. We're, we're, we're call. We're slow playing everything. Because our ranges are wider and we're shallow. Right. So we so we don't have to work as hard to try to get the money in when we connect. What happened to the hand? We check raised and he folded. Oh. <laughs> Which is never a bad result when you have a draw. No. Oh, yeah. You guys like this bet? I'm not sure. No. King Yao, we have showdown value. We block the bluffs as well. And the bluff is too small. We can probably win if we it checks down. It's I I don't I don't mind it just because I think he could bet more on the river, and then we're gonna call more for a king or showdown. Like we've dictated the price a bit here, what which I like. Okay. I wouldn't bet any king either. Right. But, what well, if, but bets... if you're going to bet any king high, king deuce is the one you want to bet because it's the lowest. Yeah, but none of the, uh, the kickers don't play anyway. Uh, are you planning to call off the king high if he bets on the river, Louis? Uh, yeah. Uh, the, the better ones. Because he could but... quite easily bet like two and a half, three X on the river. It's not a good spot then, is it? I'd the, rather the lead board's... out for a donk. The board's paired, so all your kickers are are less relevant. Though. Yeah, yeah. Right? Oh, yeah, like what is only, he doing? He's betting to fold out the chop. <laughs> only king queen is only king queen is a relevant kicker war. Right. So if you're planning on calling a bet on the river, maybe you're setting your own price by betting one on the river. Yeah, I like the bet bet on betting the one. It's like a little block of bet kind of as well, isn't it? So the flop call is fine. Oh, on the flop it goes oh, one big blind call. Yeah. Turn is the 10 of spades. And we are going to check range. I'll be honest, I'll be less likely to um, even get involved there after the raise anyway. I'll probably just check fold. On the flop? The no, on the ri on the river, I'll probably just check fold because of his raise. If he hadn't have raised and it was a limp pot and we got to the river, I'll do this donk bet. But because he raised, I'll just probably let it go. Uh, it's not bluffing very much with any king eye at all, even queen eye. No. And strategy. Because of the action, I probably would have just let it go. Check folding any size. And then checking the calling king. with better kings. No, nope, not even. It's checking its king queen. It's checking it straight. Yeah. The rare time what? it has it. Why is that? Why wouldn't it because go for the, value there? Because, because it went for value on the turn. You need protection for the checking range. Yeah, it's literally it's only it's raising basically like a bluff catcher because their their value range here is going to be flushes and um, yeah. flushes and boats. But we're allowing so him to check behind as well for checking, aren't we? Surely yep. we should put yep. a value bet out. Louis, I think you do you have 20 big blinds? This is I don't know. 30? I don't have 30. Yeah, it looks like it wants to raise all Maybe the 40 games. is better. It's literally only hands it really wants to raise here as bluffs. Surely the queen king off on the river we bet though, not allowing the check behind. Surely. Yeah. The idea, general idea here, you don't want to really use king eyes or queen eyes as a bluff. You can use jack eyes, no trips. <laughs> no. Or, or it's like, eight highs. It's literally eight highs. Maybe yeah. some nine, maybe the smattering of nine uh, highs that don't it, have anything, but there's lower ones as well. It's just that we don't see them well. These here. 
And so all your like busted hearts that are really low and, and crappy here. So here it would be all of our busted spades that are low. And what's the size of the bluff? Well, Small. it's up to you. Probably big. Big. Mm -hmm. Like 65% of the pot. Okay. But not pot size. No. Uh, call. Mm. Well, sure. It's a massive free bet, isn't it? Uh, it just shoved. Oh, right. Sorry. I was looking at someone else. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's, it's big for a three bet. It's not big for a shove. Win the flips. Mm. I know you three bet this. I bet you three bet this one, Louis. Yeah, for sure. I want. To. I would. I would too. Thirty big blind. <laughs> Uh, we are the big blind versus the button. King Jack off a little bit, not that much. It's a calling cash. Yeah. And it's a pure call with the suited. Yeah. Yep. And then there's that. King seven here. Well, there's button has his king queen. I like that a lot. It call, but I would bet big here. 12. Wait, you want to three bet this pre? It's not bit, saying. No. You're a bit uh, behind. No, we don't but we don't three bet a ton out of the big blind anyway. I and feel like that we do it, it we usually do it fairly linear with just a smattering of like suited stuff like this. I am um, I never know what to do on spots like that turn sizing where I kind of want to polarize, but stacks are getting weird. Um he ended up going like half pot there. Yeah. But then that was set up SPR like one half, right? On, on the river. Yeah, I wouldn't size up here. But it's just awkward. Like, you know, if you're used to 100 big blind, yeah. you know, ranges. Yeah, is it just yeah. better? Like, is it just better just over bet that because we protect a lot of our other, our bluffs a lot better that way? Like a lot of our. I don't know. I think we get them to fold everything. Like, yeah, that, that's that's the thing, right? I'm not I'm not sure in this spot. Like, when, when you have I this think if you're, stack size, like I don't know if I think if you're gonna if you're gonna overbet, a lot of what you're doing it is to shut out um, draws and stuff. So I would do that without a club. Um, if I'm gonna have a split between a shoving and a betting strategy, I want to shove King X without any club. Um, this one would I would want to um, lean towards the not all in if I'm splitting. As a general strategy, you should Let me turn out. you should make sure that the club that you have is the integral club in their range. So, like, if you had the like deuce of clubs here and he shouldn't really have it, then uh, then it's fine. So, does okay. it like a lot of right. yeah? So does it's hard to see. I thought we would use bigger sizes here. Not never ripping. Like it's never using big bets, but I'm surprised it's actually betting small. Okay, that was my instinct. I felt like half pot was not the size here. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, on the turn and, and on on the turn here, we're supposed to be betting smaller. Yeah, on the turn. On right. the turn. I, I, I think we're, or is it just because we want to set up the big river, the river shove? Or is it that we just, keep I don't him know. In with you, worse. It, we keep him in well, with well, worse well, as well, I guess. Yeah, I mean, and I guess it's also because if the king of clubs, king of, but just like, I guess definitely has draw like draws, but not like, and especially with the jack of clubs, we just have like a ton of draws here, like well, not as many as you think. But it's the two flush draws, but that's really about it, right? Maybe some eight nines, maybe the peel, like eight nine of diamonds appeal, but I think the small best. I think to keep we um... in though, right? Louis, do we raise flop with something like Queen Jack? Yes. Yep. Right. Yeah, exactly. So we've got a bunch of that kind of stuff that is just like an air ball, not a draw, but an air ball. Are we even supposed to be raising on the flop? A lot. Yeah. Yeah. Like a lot. Like a lot, a lot. 
Is we're it gonna because be, of we, SPR? Um, when you were talking about no, the third board, what are you going to do, Paul? It's pretty classic. But you like, we like have really, the hands really so locked. How, how do you defend on pair boards, guys? Check raising. You like to call a lot? Yeah, when I have like the nuts, sure. That's not very good. You need king seven. No, but so then you balance, you balance. It's like it's it's advantageous in poker to build out a polarized range. So we can do that here. So we want to do that. The only stuff that we we're calling down with is like really margin stuff like ace high and seven x. I'm surprised that we're raising every single king. You're surprised that we're Dude. raising on well, I guess it's because we board? have to raise a lot. So yeah, we have we have, yeah, we, have just... we have some slivers of of traps, but not a lot. You yeah, can find nuts though, man. Seven. You've got you've got ten eight. You've got ten nine. You've got nine eight. Like just raise them all. So that's a spot you can improve. Like raise your sevens, raise your all your kings, uh, raise stuff that is between the king and the seven. It seems with the back door flush or the front door flush. All of it. All of it. Yep. And yep. then yeah. raise. I'm all raising. Every... I'm raising a lot of the stuff between the king and the seven. But well, I'm not raising like... Look at this. It raises every flash draw. Oh, well, that's how you build it, son. Because it's a paired board again, right? Yeah. And um, every flush draw gets raised. All the backdoor well, flush draw that are above the seven. Two cards above the seven, backdoor flush draw. You do it. Wow. Well, Vince, you're, um, your strategy is probably not bad if you're over bluffing like that because they're not calling down with ace highs like they should. We've had to turn bigger if the turn is nice. To me, Chris, the spot, because I know I don't do that on those boards. Yeah, the ace will use bigger size. Uh, it, that's the ace. Oh, sorry. And then we are looking at... What was our hand? We had King Jack. King Jack with in this case the Jack of Spades. Okay. So with King Jack, this is our barrel strategy. So pretty much anything under our nine is really good. That bigger on the ace and or a spade. On a seven. On a seven. The last king. What? Is, is it this quads? So you can bet bigger. Is this Frisian? What is Frisian? <laughs> what are you trying to say, man? No, I was just saying if you, if the ace or seven hits on the turn, you can bet bigger than the other. You bet small on the other cards. Yeah. Oh no, him again. And it looks like the more he three bets us, the bigger he gets. Like, he's <laughs> <laughs> trying to find out where we fold. <laughs> no, because this three bet is too big. No. I think we would probably just fold this. Also, it's not too big, I think. Like, seven is the correct size here with the stacks. Yeah, but we know our opponent three yeah. bets. And he plays like straightforwardly on the flop. Like he doesn't play the three bad pots really well at all. No. He yeah, doesn't. but <laughs> I'm still getting out of there. I mean, I have 50 some big, but nothing he has is covered. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but the, the exploit against somebody who doesn't play three bets well is to just like go to three bet pots with a linear range. Yeah, I don't think this hand. I don't I think, think this I hand think, makes it. I, I think we're supposed to play all um our suited aces to a free bet. I think we're supposed to, you know, in this situation. I bet if you look, Louis, we put, we're supposed to call them all. I think all we suited. are as well. Yeah. I think we are. All suited aces. 
If there was a six a, and a seven, a seven I think combo, a six would be the one. They're the worst. Definitely a six, a seven are the worst. But I still think we're probably supposed to pull. I don't think I'm going to call here. I think if I'm going to make a play, I'm going to four bet. What are the positions? It's early versus early. early versus right? early. Then I kind I'm of agree. Sure it's it's better, actually a fold, I think. I think it's a I don't think we're supposed to play every two days. Yeah. Well, I mean, he's he's three betting us uh, quite a bit. So I think it'll, it'll probably work. I almost never four bet a six. I mean, ace five, ace four, but not a six, right? Yeah. yeah. But the, uh, this is reserved for opponents that are three Yeah. I, I, I mean, I would <laughs> never do that here. I think it's like, probably going to come. Here's your, right? here's your GIF for bet. Uh, given the position, I would say that this is a 100% fold. Well, yeah, 14 I, I to 1. Yeah. I, 60 I, I, up. Yeah. I mean, I'm just looking here. It's versus a 3 bet, it, especially to that size. It's not about the size. The size is correct, people. but like based well, on the is it, criteria, is it, is it supposed to be more like about six? Is it supposed to be about three x in position and bigger yeah. out of position? Yeah, yeah, but you're also sixty big blinds deep. Yeah, oh, so you can Girl. go a little bit. Yeah, so the the size is like correct. Okay. It's even smaller than it's supposed to be. Seven point five. That's so weird because in cash games we do it just to six. Are you sure? Yeah, we do three x. Yeah, we just yeah uh, normally. Okay. Yeah, three x. Uh, no, it depends. It depends if they open two point five. I'm always raising to sort of seven. Or oh, no, I'm sorry. Efficient. We do it. It's because of the small raise. That's what it is. No, we do. We go yeah. to nine. But if you you could yeah against the small raise, you could push it up a little bit. That's fine. That's fine. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we open to two. We open to just three to six point five. We opened, we opened just to two, is what happened. Yeah, so the Which size is correct. Which is small for, two is small, for, our, our opening range is, is small for a 60 big blind stack. Yeah. Yeah, someone just said because of the antes as well in the chat window. So yeah, that no, probably, that, you know. no that's, that, that's absolutely fine to go to seven point, to go to seven. But we're folding at A6 suited, Louis, the chart saying, right? Yeah. Yeah. Easy fold. Flat. No. Look at the SBR. We're playing 20 deep, right? I think we're just flat. I mean, you mix, I think, is probably. Like, oh, never mind. Take that back. 100%. <laughs> Ace is a, yeah, I think Ace is the only trap here. Is that what it's saying to raise every single time? Wait, what happened? What, did we did we raise? We need to rebat and the, everyone folded. Okay. Thank you. Okay, there we go. Thank you. Why is it showing all in and not free bet, Louis? Because this is the 20 big bar chart. And we're a little bit weird. He's at 20, but uh, we have today. like a big stack behind. So, and the big stack kind of likes to mess with us a little bit. So, yeah, I think it's a great spot to try to like give him an opportunity to. Come out the, the position, you know, small blind, big blind, come cut off, cut off. You're right. Be super wide. Then one with three better. I mean, at this stack depth, it's 30 to three bed, but like you might get out of line and one once every now and then. Whereas if yeah. you come, uh, you can never get out of line. It's just going to play perfectly. Now yeah. we're just like offering him a bait. I do think if we jam there though, a lot of players in this spot call off with Jackson Queens and Ace King. But how well. often we're in this situation? Not often enough to do this no. all the time. But they also jam. They also rejam those ends. No, like I'm if saying you, if you seven, Jackson Queens is going to rejam and. It's also, yeah, I guess that both both plays work right. Well, the other thing too is if chug ball flats, the other guy can still come over the top, right? Yeah, so, doesn't matter. We're never folding kings anyway. Yeah. No, yeah, no, it's to induce the most action. 
Well, if you want yeah, to okay. do the most action, you want to you want to limp behind. You want to limp like you want to fly. Whole life <laughs> chance to go crazy. But what do you guys do here with Jack with Seven? Jack. And what do we do with Jack Eight and Jack Nine? I think folding Jack all, seven, all suited. Folding Jack Nine suited. Yeah, I might even three, but actually. And what do you do with Jack Eight? Fold. Jack eight and Jack nine suited. I probably would free bet here. No, it's just and, cool. and I'll it's the only 10. position raise. I think I think Jack eight might be the worst. It's either Jack eight or Jack nine's like the worst. He's not. He's not that early because there's a couple of people not even in the hand, right? It's yeah. He's a hijack. He's, he's hijacked. So it's usually like suited eight. So I think Jack yeah, Jack eight's like the worst call. And yeah, we do get to three bet. Um, a little bit of Jack nine. Oh, so we're missing the Jack eight here. Yeah, suited suited eight is like your usually your worst small blind defending mo against most positions. The suited eights. All right. Is there no free bets there then, Louis? At all? There's not. Yeah, there is plenty. Yeah, we're at sixty. Just what remembering my Matt Affleck. Not of Jack eight though. Thing. No, we need Who's right. finding the That's seven six suited through that? I see. Well, we know you don't find this Jack eight suited call. This is no. how many blinds? 50 blinds. 60. 60, okay. Yeah, I don't think I'm finding the jacket suited. I'm definitely uh, not finding that. Uh-huh. I do three bet the jack nine though. Where here's and a jack spot. ten. <laughs> here's the spot I'm not all improve on because I don't think I'm calling jack eight often enough here. I don't think I'm calling Queen Eight. Which is obviously a mistake as well. Not a was Queen Queen eight suited? Was a call there also? Yeah, and King eight suited. I'm not. I'm not okay. even calling them. Me neither. What do you guys do here? Let's see. <laughs> Anybody? Oh, I'm willing to call. Anybody squeezing? A little bit. I uh, rather squeeze with the ace. No hand. With what? The ace? Yeah. Do we have a squeezing range here? I think we're just folding. Are you we have a squeezing range. Folding. We definitely we have a squeezing range folding. here. Are you serious what? folding here? No way. Oh, no, we're never folding. I mean, it's just whether this is going to have a squeeze. Oh, never mind. Sorry. I thought this was a three by hand. I think we just flat here. But it's uh, one of our worst ones. Yeah, it's not great. I mean, maybe that's a good reason to turn it into a three bet. What, what hands no. do we squeeze here? King 10, King Jack, King Queen. Suit them? Mm -hmm. Ice Jack. Ice Queen off. Scott. All right. All right. I think this is probably one of the worst free bets. Um, right? Usually, we're supposed to lean towards using suited hands as three bets anyway. Uh, I, I think you, you squeeze with like <laughs> your ace 10 off here and then your. Okay, quickly. Top. Quickly. Ace 10 off. It's then off, uh, and then oh. like, yeah, and then the uh, how many big blinds are we effective? If we're doing ace ten off, we're allowed to do king. If we're if we're doing ace ten off, we're allowed to do king king jack off. Are 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 you not uh, ace jack off? What else? It, like I would I would do it like ace ace ten off, ace nine off, and then the top part of my range like aces, kings, queens, jacks. Uh, ace king ace queen uh scott wanna add up oh but i when I, I um calling the suited ace calling this uh suited i don't ace. want your calling range you want my calling range or you want my raising range the raising range you just gave me three ends the oh i also said king, i also said king queen off. Yeah, King, 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 King not Jack. King, not Queen Jack off, and then yeah, those are the those are the bluffs in me, and and then think about Ace Five suited as a bluff, and I'll decide. And then and then add while we are here, sh shout out to Alexi who shipped one of his <laughs> uh, first games yesterday. Shout out to you, bro. Thank you, thank you. So, what do we squeeze here? 
Definitely Tony ice. Is King Queen Definitely City, ice King Jack. Jack City, then King Ten City. I don't want to squeeze the ace nine. No, that's a bluff. Like if I squeeze and then get four bet, I'm just gonna fall. I know. I'm saying I don't want. I'm saying I don't want to squeeze the ace nine as a bluff. I, I want to. Mm, but what do you want to do with it? You want to call? Wanna fold it. You want to fold it? That works too. Ace nine. I will squeeze it. Ace and ace and squeeze ace it. Ace ten. Kings, kings, queens, jacks, and tens, and that's it. That sounds a bit tight, uh, just all. Um, pot and under the gun open. I think there's only about four hands here that we're free betting. Ace five suited, ace queen off, uh, king ten suited, jack queen suited, probably. Oh, Those four. Look at this. We are wrong. Yeah, I mean, Scott, it's all suited. Yeah, yep. suited. Scott, like, suited, suited, suited. Zero good answers. <laughs> I, there's a sliver of King Jack. Sam? Sam? Yeah, really bad. That's uh, not good. We got oh, nailed it, Louis. I, Alexi, that the player, so actually nailed it. <laughs> I nailed that it there, and I said ace five, ace 5 and Ace Queen and, and Jack Queen suited. But well, Sam, at least you had the value range right. No, that was from Matt. <laughs> I saw a couple of his uh, streams. That's what he does. Then, yeah, seven, uh, eight suited in there. Seven, ace five a little bit. Yeah, so we deep, were we were all wrong here. I didn't yeah. know what to squeeze either. Yeah, deeper stacked bluffs want to want tend to be suited, kind of like your weaker suited hands. Like yeah. is Sam. I think you were describing Matt's uh, three betting against early position, not against uh, two players. It's, it's not quick anymore, guys. All right, so it is a good call. And like, but... Three betting against early position is similar, but obviously there's a big difference here. So that was our squeezing range, or what? Yeah. When we get when we get shallow, then are we supposed to just flat call the suited stuff? Because I know that Griff Danger or whatever his name was, I was watching his live stream and he was free betting. It was, it was stuff. three. No, no, when he was, okay. it, 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 it was two ways. It was two ways. It was when somebody opened somebody flat. No, I'm saying in the in the when he was short, when he was when he when he was short stack, he was still free betting the suited stuff. Is that right? When you, I think when you're shorter, you th your three bets tend to be more towards well, big cards because you don't, you're not yeah, as no. worried. Yeah, you're not as worried about. Um, but are we free like betting the suited stuff when we're shallow. That's what I'm saying. Or are we just uh, free betting the offsuit stuff. Um, it kind of like at thirty bigs against an under the gun raise. It's doing a lot more of. Well, it's doing a lot more calling, and it's doing kind of like slivers of like. King Ted, Queen Jack suited, and then some of your big off suit stuff, like Ace Ted off, Ace, like slivers of that. But we don't. But we honestly like big blind versus under the gun. We don't. We just don't do a lot of three betting anyway. So this no. would be the strategy for thirty big blind instead of sixty. Okay. So you get right. that. So it's Got the it. same kind of like. Uh, Pretty much the same. Yeah. Very, Except very have the ace nine, nine queen nine that we instead didn't have of before. instead of three betting small here with these type of hand, it rips them. And ace queen it, off finding its way in there. I like yep. it. Yeah. Oh, instead of free betting, it's ripping them now. Yeah. So that's gonna be the difference. Do we consider one call here with the rector flush and the real straight draw? That's the that's the next question, Scott. <laughs> Do we yeah. call here? <laughs> the thing is, this guy bets into no, two players. I think we still call one. It's, we got the back door flush draw as well. I yeah, don't that's think the it's too, problem. Too tight to fold. We have to call one in. I don't think we do. So the issue is that we block the draws. Right. That seems so the tight two to players me. that. Uh, if the second player also continues, then this is a, like the clearest fold 
because we have no value. Ah, uh, right, yeah. Well, if he continues, well, it's even better, yeah. I think we always call one in this situation, but I could be wrong. Well, drawing to the 10, I mean, we're getting the, we're getting the implied odds to draw to a 10. When oh, it, when okay. a min ma- can win a massive plot if we hit the ten, and if it's That's... the ten of diamonds, we 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 don't mind, although that may kill our action. But it's got to be too tight to fold here, right? Surely. What does the second player do? I'm calling. I'm never folding Hold in it. this spot. I'm never folding anyway. Not here. Against one player, we can continue and see a turn. Against two players, is a clear fold. We don't. What, play... to, uh, we've got a draw to the nuts. I don't we think don't we can fold even if, if the second one player comes in. We have to call. It's even more of a call. I think there's another thing here, which is that um, the ace of diamonds being out there is really bad for us. Some of the value of this comes from you know the backdoor flush and um, ace of diamonds when there's out. action. We're just never, we're just never good, you know. Like if it was Ace King of Diamonds, Seven of Clubs, I like this a fair bit I'm better. I'm never actually. folding. I'm never folding whether there's one or two players. If there's two players, I'm I'm calling even more. I'm only calling one shot. I might even get a free river. All right, so Joe. I mean, I think if we start folding this, we're just. I mean, I get it's multi-way. But if we start folding this, are we just way under defending here? And if we are, is that even okay? This has got to be in a, the minimum defense frequency, right? Yeah. Minimum I, defense frequency is shared between the players and multi way packs. Absolutely. Yeah. But, even, but even if you consider that, right, like if we start folding like every folding the same. Fold gut shots multi way. A really tough spot. I don't know what to do, but Joe decides to go for the call. Did someone just say we fold gut shots multi way? Yes. Okay. What to the nuts? Not... I'm not I folding gut shots for sure. To the nuts. Why are we folding gut shots multi way? <laughs> exactly. For the nuts as well. Come on. Those are the rules. I don't know. <laughs> I've never heard that rule. <laughs> I mean, uh, no, I, I, I get it. If, if it was a bad gut shot, yeah, we're going to always fold this. Yeah. Multi-way. It's also like oh. the pot odds matter here. He bet basically half pot. You know, um, yeah, you that makes about it like worse. quarter. That's uh, it's meaningful. Yep, but there's, but he has more than, but we have more than thirty big blinds after this. Implied odds matter too. Of course, absolutely, absolutely. I'm never folding here. Look, whether there's think, one or two players, and we think he has an ace, so we think that we're going to get paid off. That's the thing. We're at a exactly. We may not get. You know, it might be hard to. Get in don't don't big... forget, he's in the prime position to um bet, you know, range bet anyway. He's got all, all he's gonna write, he's gonna bet this with pocket nines, right? He's gonna he could bet this with any pair, really. Uh, will, will he range bet three ways out of position now? I, I guess, I guess the board is really, really good for him though. So, exactly. So, we should lean towards calling when we have the card of the seeker. Good. So what I did is like to account for the fact we are multi-way. I'm not, like he's betting off butter, but I'm making him bet bigger. Okay, that's a reasonable adjustment. And then even if he bets the pot, we're still m- mostly calling with the queen when we have the queen of the suit. So, but you know, because I guess like suppose he's range betting and he has like jacks, we're all the way live against jacks. We're start, starting to mix foes, though, against a pot size bet. So it's close. It's very close, whether you but, call or raise. But if we look at, like, against a big bet here, like, the call returns five chips into 165. So if you call here, it's not going to be your most profitable call ever. No. Right? So it's a call, kind of, but you don't really make chips or you're breaking even. Or you're a very, very small winner. And yeah, now this. Now we go right. Uh, yeah. Whoa. King six half? <laughs> I see. You guys what? see this? Is this a true bet? What, what, if you were 40 big blind effective, I would hey. snap three bet this guy. 
Now at this yeah. back up, I don't think it's a good idea. <laughs> 20 big blinds, let's see. So we are the small blind versus the button. Not a good idea indeed. Slightly off, just like four, four tips. tips off. Okay. <laughs> and then let's just make sure, say we were 40 deep. Hmm? Oh. Where's my king six? Uh, still king 10 off. It's suited, Lou. Uh, it's from the big line. Right. Yeah, I'm getting these mixed up. And at 20 from the big line, is this a thing? Ah, I see then. Not mm -hmm. really. It's king seven, and it's okay. So it's not from the small blind. Uh -huh -huh. Maybe I find What's the... king six from the small blind. <laughs> the the red's ripping it, right? All the red's ripping it. Yeah. Right. What did Chuck hold double about double them up with? Four or five. Four or five suited. <laughs> Poker's not dead. Did did Chuck hold uh Bluff the river, is that what happened? Or did he have something that he could call with? I'm just what? Would, play, would play against him. This is a six spot. You because it's definitely it could it could could be a squeeze. I just don't see how we fold here. You ever. think we jam. You think we jam, don't you? Oh uh, well, okay. Against this player, maybe. How many hands is that? Twelve. What is an HRC? Twelve hands, yeah. Yeah, HRC. In a prime position to make a play, any. He? Well, HRC is calculating. Can you show us the action on the on that four five? Just walk through it real quick. After we fold it. Is anyone just calling here? No one's calling here, right? No way, never. Not with the guys behind you. No. Yeah, I they're, agree. They're, yeah, there's there's no good that could come from calling here. I think you've either got a yeah, this is a shutter fold spot. I oh this it it, it it feels dirty. It feels like it's either our it feels like if it's a profitable call, it's shove, it's probably gonna be just slightly if, profitable. If I was oh, I agree. it's probably it's probably fairly thin, yeah. I think this is a close spot, but if I was splitting ranges, I think I'm shoving tens and jacks here and folding eights and nines. Yeah, I'm folding nines for sure. This feels like it's like literally the split hand. When I run a lot of these, it, this usually is like the the hand that's either like the least profitable. This is the, it's, this it's, is it's, it's 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 your it's your it's your least profitable pair that you're gonna like shove here. Yeah, I think so. This is like the top of the middle of the range, isn't it? So you probably can yeah. ship it and fold the rest. So the one thing I will say, like um, tens, you might want to not have a ten or a jack here, uh, tens or jacks here, because you block the bottom of his folding range against your jam, right? Like he's gonna, he might fold ace ten and ace jack here that he's squeezing. So I, I think I'd actually prefer to have maybe nines here than have tens. I see mm -hmm. your point because most of his free betting bluffing range is going to contain a 10. That's what you're saying, isn't it? Yeah, and I, I like the other – because there's two other guys in the pot, um, there's a decent chance that at least one other ace is dead. So if you do get called by ace-king, it's actually not that bad. So I think that – I, th I think that you're going to go with the hand. Yeah, definitely. And like the guys behind you shouldn't be ahead of you. Um, yeah, so you're saying, you, so you're saying you go with nines too then? I you're think I'm, I think you're going to see that nines and tens are probably going to be really close in value. Yeah. Um, so I don't mind that because I think that the danger is one of those hands is going to be the bottom of his, of his three betting 
or his uh, three betting range there. understand what I'm looking at because here I have middle position opening with this one and now uh, your mic is screwed up I screwed up your mic oh okay okay there we go so how does this range I mean, I don't understand what's going on here. Because we start, we raise with this range. Uh, we face a call, a call, and then a tree bet. And now all of a sudden, middle position has all these kind of stuff in this range. But we don't open them. Yeah. And we are not going to jam this. We're not jamming tens. We're not folding it either. Hmm. We're, we're, what, we're, we're to calling the eight big lines with tens here. That's for real. That's what we're doing. Is that because you have max players post flop? Oh, no, okay, never mind. No. I'm slightly oh. confused. Oh. I, I wasn't expecting, because we're not calling the hit a set. But at these pot odds, are we? HRC does a little bit of weird stuff like that where it will sometimes, like in some of these spots, like recommend calls. But if you look at the actual equities are like super close between call and raise. And I think in game, you're probably never going to call here. Realistically. Never. Yeah, you're right. All right, so our small blind. Plus, we're out of position to the other players as well. Just this don't make no sense to call, does it? At yes. all. If you look here, you see that um, like the nines want to call, and it has to do with blocking um, the tens that flat and stuff too. Well, the Maybe nines, the nine. the yeah, nines the nine. are calling or, or getting it in. Yeah, the nines want to play. The tens are kind of a weird blocker to the bottom of the, the three bet range. Right. So, yeah, the, the tens are the most awkward hand to call. But we're not talking about four betting. We're talking about actually calling out of position the two other players. We're calling this three bet, right? Is that what we're saying we're doing? No, no. I, I think this is going to, I think this is going to jam. Right. Because this is a horrible spot to call, isn't it, with the two players behind as well? Definitely junior fold. Yeah, 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 I hate that idea. Yeah. I don't I don't know. Maybe you just can't go wrong just being Jack's plus here, really. Like, and like and, I mean, you can't I mean, be if you got Jack's plus here, it's going in, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, like you know, like your Jack's plus, I mean, your Jack's plus and your good ace X, right? Like, like, if you want to just tell me, like, you wanted to not play nines and tens here, even though nines might be a slightly profitable call i mean slightly profitable shove it's probably just okay also the other thing is if he's blocking some tens with his you know obviously he's going to be free betting king 10 off ace 10 off them sort of bands is he likely to call that off to a jam he's not anyway is it if you did shove tens yeah. so this says he's only if he's using tens as blockers for... right so this here says that 10 is profitable to call. Very profitable. Very profitable, actually. But yeah. less so than nines, right? Which is the weird part of that heuristic. Yeah, if you look at nines, it's actually, yeah, 
and it's a very good point for the reasons just mentioned there. Yeah, like, and if you look, there's a huge difference between tens and jacks and queens is like all those hands hold cards at the bottom of the range that block the folds of players. What's the, hover over the nines. I can't see the number well enough. No, nines I, can't is, quote, I can't quote like that. Nines is 8.5 chips and tens is not much you know, different tens 8.57 right so nines are not as they're not as profitable as tens they're just not it's barely yeah but it's like trivially they're, they're just yeah, right. they're just closer than normal that they're just closer than they normally are yeah but he if he's only if he's just free betting with a 10 as a as a blocker as a as a blocker bluff basically you know he's not going to call it off if we jam anyway with tens is he right but we want him to have it that's what we're saying yeah. is that he has it he has his ace 10 that he folds when we have nines more than he has his ace 10 that he folds when we have tens. Yeah, That's like he's not, he, he's less, he's not likely to be squeezing ace eight and ace nine there, but he is likely yeah. to be squeezing ace 10 and ace jack. Yeah. So are you guys folding ace queen up here? Yeah. It's ace, a bit close one. I think you've got to. Ace queen I think suited? you've got to. Ace queen suited? Ace king. Ace king, no shoving. No ace, way. Ace, ace, wait, queen. ace queen suited makes ten of a nice flat, right? Yeah, I think you call ace queen jam ace king, right? Very marginal call here. Right. Ace king's ripping it, surely. Yeah, we should probably continue with this pocket ten. What and not and not jam it. Continue what are we doing with the uh, pocket tens here? What's HRC doing? Jamming, calling, mm. or jamming. Oh wait, no, no, no. no look, it, it was a. It does one of one of the one of the two. calling or jamming. Simple as that. Mm. Yeah, I mean, it should be assuming this player is shoving, like raising optimally. Yeah, but. Our player is really raising optimally. It's an horrible spot anyway, isn't it? If you are sat there with nines or tens, it's not the ideal spot you want to be in. No. We're going to mark it or I'm going to ask Matt to review it next week. Thanks. The fact it's multi-ways made it worse as well as a call when it is. Yeah, I mean, the tough thing is, like, if he's invested 10 and has to call 20 more, I mean, he's going to be incentivized to call us a lot. So even when we're ahead with a pair against two overs, it's going to be tough. Yeah. Right, because his 10 is dead, and then there's, you know, like six, eight other blinds in there. So, Louis, could you could we real quick look at the, uh, the hand that Chug Hole doubled up I-Dog? Or J Dog. That was the four five suit, it wasn't it? Yeah. I think he tried to make a see, play. I see the I it just, I just wanted to see the action of it, which I didn't see. Okay, so raise he calls off the four five. Check check. Bets small gets called. Oh, bet's big. Okay. And then and then bluffs the river. Okay. And he bluffs the river with four or five, not even of the suit. Okay. That's what we want to know because we're up against him a lot. Good. That's an awful bluff on his part, wasn't it? He should have just give up. He had no blockers. He had nothing. He had nothing. He should have just give up. Yep. And yeah, because he bet big on the turn. He bet big enough. Yeah. To for it to he work. should have just seen the flop and been done with that hand. Didn't have to get any more involved, did he? Well, when it went check, check. I think we have just got to check sometimes and just, just check bold sometimes. Again, we don't have to win every hand, like Ken was saying. Um, Call. I guess, yeah, I mean, if, once you see the four or five, probably just have. Yay. 
Yeah. You shot that was, was Chargol gone. Chargol was gone, wasn't he? Yep. Yep. <laughs> Hooray. Now we got a stack. We got back a lot of those three bets. Horrible board for King Jack. Yeah, I'm, I'm, not, bet I'm not betting this. See, this is one I'd give up on as well. I yeah, 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 check fold. Yeah. Check fold. Every time. Against two players. Even against one, if he's in the big blind, that flop, that flop's horrific, isn't it? Yeah. Did we shove or did I we? Go? Wanna, I think I want to raise that smaller, right? When in big blinds, I think it's always all in. Always? Okay. I think so. And did we? Did we shove it? Yeah, yeah, we shoved, yeah. Yeah, we shoved okay. it. Okay. I think I'm quite sure it's probably a free bet with stronger hands, though, right? Or flat call. So uh, okay, thing? I just looked it up. Um, poker coaching has that 100% uh, all in three bets, small with ace, king, stupid. I think this one's a free bet anyway, because we're out of position and we've got good blockers. Ooh, good Did night. We, we called the king, queen? Yeah, okay. I think you should be free betting from the small blind air with this hand for sure. I actually think we flat a lot from early position opens with king queen off, but I could be wrong. Low jack. Yeah, I mean, from low jack. At the NICM model, this is going to fold. It's a fold, Louis. I see him not, not much of it. There's no way there's a free bet in there. I don't know. Let's look at Chip EV. And look at that. He doesn't, Calvito doesn't shove. He leaves himself two big blinds, three big blinds. Yeah. Well, I don't think the call's good in that spot, but I could be wrong. I think we're calling Queen King suited there, but free betting Queen King off out of position. I don't, we haven't got that many calls in the small blind, have we? Other than the nice suited stuff. 60 big, like, low, from a chippy VC standpoint, 60 big blinds, king, queen off versus a low jack open is a pure call. Pure it's call. Pure call from, this is one of the ones, queen, queen suit, it's always a pure three, is a, is a pure three bet. Queen, king suit is the free bet, right? So it's the opposite way around. Again, your bluffs, <laughs> your bluffs tend to be your worst, like offsuit X hands and your ace X hands generally when you're deeper. Your worst, I'm sorry, your worst suited hands and your and your and your uh, like your wheel ace um, yeah ace X type hands. That's what I meant. Please don't bet again. <laughs> check, check, and then call the river unhappily. I like this. Check, check, and then bet the river. Okay. Yep. Yeah. It's then, but it's good. Yep. Yeah. If he comes over the top, we can still get away from. Oh no! That. When he check, when he didn't bet the river, I'm I'm okay with it. Yeah. I was just saying. Don't Agreed. Check. There are sickos that will find uh, find a jam on the river, but um, yeah, we're mostly not up against them. Yeah. What what uh, buy in was this? Sixty, wasn't it? Two fifteen. Two fifteen. Yeah, you will find sickos. Yep. I got bluff raised. I got bluff raised uh, on the river in that situation yesterday. Oh yeah, sure check raise right. bluff. Check raise bluff shove. I hated it, and I folded. Are you stopping for a break anytime soon, Louis? Uh, we could. It's up to you guys. Ten ten minute break. Anybody? Sure, sure. Never ready. I'm uh, I'm going once we take a break. 